Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you are new, my name is Stephanie and welcome to I'll Buy the Popcorn. I know the title says my top favorite of the year. I guess it's my first like clickbait for the new channel. Honestly, 2019 has really let me down as far as movies have gone by. I mean, there's been some that I enjoy and I like, but to really call them my favorite, like I just... That just seems like big. So I guess it's kind of saying my top 10 favorite. I guess it's more so my top 10 most liked films of 2019 thus far. Just because I feel like Netflix has really been killing it lately with just like movies and shows in general. So I just feel like it's fair to really, you know, include those in my list. So this is going to be actually my first top 10 list for my channel and I think it's a good one to start off with what my favorites are so far of the year. Let me go ahead and cut off all the rambling of this intro that I have. <laughs> it's gonna be horrible. So let's go ahead and start off with number 10 pick. It's actually gonna be a little bit of a shocker seeing that I kind of talk shit about it but it's gonna be a uh, John Wick chapter 3 Parabellum. It's only on here because again compared to other films that I've seen this one kind of surpassed all of the other ones. And mainly just because I love John Wick and, you know, God forbid if I don't put him on my list, you know, he may come after me. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, I mean, overall, I just, I love the John Wick series. I wasn't happy with what they did with this particular film. But it's just on there just because I love John Wick. And that's why he's on my number 10 pick. My number 9 pick, oh my god, I'm going to be doing that voice, will be Shazam. Zachary Levi, I think, did such an amazing job portraying this character. The whole thing to me was just so much fun. I enjoyed every single bit of it. Uh, the chemistry between all the characters I felt was great. That spoiler alert, I guess we're going to do spoilers here because it's been out for a minute. That final scene when he literally shared his power with all the kids, I thought was great. My number eight pick, you may or may not know about it, but it's actually the kid who would be keen which is kind of like the more modern day version of A Kid in King Arthur's Court, which is something that I saw when I was younger. And this movie, again, is a great family-friendly film. The young Merlin, I thought he was so great with his crap stuff that he was doing. I like to see when Merlin made the trees uh, come to life. My number seven pick would be Netflix's Always Be My Maybe. I thought this movie was so funny. I really enjoyed it. It's another movie with Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves here is actually playing like a douchebag version of himself. That whole scene in the restaurant where they're eating and they have the headphones that literally is like my favorite scene. I think it's so funny. I really love the story of Sasha and Marcus, you know, their childhood uh, best friends and they have that little falling out and then they just ultimately end up together. And you know, it's just like that perfect romantic comedy formula that you get that really made it work. My number six pick will be Detective Pikachu because it's freaking Pokemon and I love Pokemon. The movie I think did a great job in making these characters so realistic and it's like live action. All of the Pokemon looked amazing. Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu I really really liked. My number five pick it will be The Sun is also a star. The story follows Natasha and Daniel and it seems like the cosmos are wanting them to find each other. I just want them to be together. Mind you, the first time he did follow her and basically saved her. But then what are the coincidence that they both were going to the exact same building and going to the exact same lawyer? The big thing that I really, really enjoyed about uh, this movie is that you get to see a lot of New York. I feel like they captured New York in such a wonderful way. My number four pick would be Netflix's The Perfection because it's so weird. If you haven't seen it, go check that one out for sure. It's so twisted. I mean, the movie just takes so many like turns. You think it's one thing, but it's not. And you think this is another thing and you're like, okay, you got to figure it out. But then it's like, it's not. There's like this whole bigger thing to it that I didn't even see coming. And it's just not for everybody. I could tell you that if you're like squeamish, not for you. Just because there is vomiting. There's uh, like a diarrhea scene. 
there's people cutting into each other stabbing killing like psychotic breaks i mean this chick literally cuts her hand off because she feels like she's seen bugs crawling in her she thinks she's dying is that the best way that charlotte should have handled this probably not but she had to do what she had to do to protect lizzie to get her out of that toxic place even if it meant for her to chop off her own hand i mean that scene where she's just like brings out the butcher knife from like underneath wherever she had it and it's like you know what you gotta do like so calmly and then like that final scene was like my number three pick would be netflix's someone great i absolutely love that movie so far it's my favorite netflix movie this is about a uh, jenny who just got out of a long-term relationship literally trying to figure out how to deal with it and how to get closure and her girls are with her to help her through this i mean blair and aaron literally call in to work and they spend the day with jenny who just broke up with her boyfriend of like what was it like seven years or something and it's like friendship goes from morning to bedtime actually it wasn't bedtime it was morning to the next morning again we're in new york somewhere in the middle they did a drug run it was it's fun it's a great movie totally recommended i freaking loved it my number two pick is five feet apart I love this movie. I cried so much in this movie. Well, they're at the end. Well, somewhere in the middle too, but then they're at the end for sure. I was like sobbing. The love story between Stella and Will, it's like that forbidden love. And you want to root for them. And you feel like... There could be a possibility of them being together but then there's not because they have this disease they have cystic fibrosis technically the two patients are supposed to be six feet away but when they but when they end up falling for each other she tells her she tells him you know come walk with me let's do this but what we're gonna do we're gonna steal that one foot like we deserve to steal this one foot and gives him the pole and he takes it and then that's where their official love story begins and in the ending you guys the way that he said goodbye to her was just so bittersweet it's like you want them to be able to work out but you just it's hopeless it it, it can't but you want them to and it I mean, at least he was able to say goodbye. Before I get to my number one pick, let me go ahead and give you some honorable mentions. My first one would be The Dead Don't Die. I know you're like, what? I didn't really talk crap about it, but it doesn't have a plot. It's so ridiculous, but it's my good ridiculous funny. I loved it. And this is my list, and it's not on my top 10. I almost wanted to put it on my top 10, but I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. But... Is still on my honorable mentions and my other one would be fighting with my family now i'm not a wrestling fan anymore but i was when i was a preteen. but Paige was after i stopped watching it the undertaker was like my favorite as well as triple h i was very surprised about how much i really enjoyed this movie the last thing i want to say before i get to my number one pick is that these are the movies that i have not seen this year that you're probably like why are none of these movies on your list one, because I haven't seen them. I'm going to tell you right now, Us, I'm not going to be seeing that movie because it looks scary. Unless it's like Get Out. Like, because Get Out wasn't scary. It took me a minute to watch it, but the only reason I watched it was because it was being nominated for an Oscar. So, is Us, like, Get Out as far as the same, like, tone that it has? Or is this one, like, actually scary? Because, yeah, I know I don't do scary movies. This is the reason why this is not on my top ten list. Not to say that they would be on my top ten list. But just to kind of defend myself. All right, so here we go for my number one pick. You're gonna be shocked because it's not in game. As you can tell, it wasn't even on my top favorite or most liked because, quite honestly, please don't hate me. Please do not unsubscribe. I was not fond of in game. With that said, my real top number one pick is a talk's journey. 
because I am a dog mama and I freaking love this movie. It was another one that I cried a lot in as well. I just, I loved it. I loved it. I haven't even seen A Dog's Purpose. And I said I was going to see The Dog's Purpose after I did my review for A Dog's Journey. It was great. I loved it. Go and watch it. I told you guys from the beginning my list is going to be completely different, completely random. From five and up, definitely just most liked. And then from four down, I would say that those for real are like my favorite thus far. I wonder if any of these are going to stay on the, my list. Let me know in the comment section below what are your top 10 favorite movies thus far of the year. If you want to just do like what's been in theaters, go for it. I'm including Netflix in this but if you don't want to, that's completely okay. Please don't give me any hate comments about Endgame like I know. So with that said, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you at concessions. Bye!